повторить комбинацию. Опа! Бомба! Ничего себе! Liam Williams and Chris Carslock clash for the Commonwealth and vacant British light middleweight titles. Coming into round two, both fighters seemed to be feeling each other out until suddenly Williams connected with a short jab that dropped Carslock cold. Ve yatırdı mükemmel bir darbe. Bir direk yumruk çıkarttı ve Karstov yerde kaldı ikinci raundun başında. Irish Andy Lee faced a former light middleweight world champion Carl Daniels in his eighth professional bout. However, the faded former title holder was no match for a 22-year-old Lee who finished him with an incredible knockout in round three. Eighteen years into an already legendary career, multiple division world champion Nonito Donaire defended his WBA bantamweight title against Stefan Young. The Filipino Flash found Young an easy target throughout the fight before putting him to sleep with a brutal hook in round six. Julian Jackson is one of the hardest punchers in the history of boxing, but in his first meeting against Gerald the Demon McClellan, Jackson got a taste of his own medicine in round five. His legs are not there. This fight could very well be over right this minute. In 2016, British star Amir Khan jumped up two weight classes to fight Mexican Canelo Alvarez for his WBC middleweight title. The brave British fighter put up a good fight against the Mexican champion, but it did not end well for him. When two heavy hitters meet in the ring, the outcome is almost always predictable. In this case, two cruiserweight sluggers, Darnell Wilson and Emmanuel Nuwadu, squared off for the USBA cruiserweight title. But with a minute left in round 11, Wilson produced one of the most devastating knockouts I've ever seen. Forty-two-year-old heavyweight powerhouse Amir Mansour took on Fred Kazi in a scheduled ten-round bout. It took Mansour seven rounds to find an opening, but when he did, a thunderous right hand was all that was needed to end the fight. Yes. Son just spit blood. I'm too sick. Oh, right, he's down. This fight's over. Mansour has knocked him out. A thunderous right by Amir Mansour, and Kazi is out cold. And they need to take a good look at Kazi right now. He's in William Guthrie was an unlikely champion who became the IBF light heavyweight champion after defeating Darren Allen. But in his first defense against Reggie Johnson, 
Guthrie had no answers for Johnson's relentless attack. He was eventually knocked out cold by Johnson in round five. Gennady Golovkin was coming off his first career defeat when he faced undefeated Canadian Steve Rolls. Rolls fought well and certainly had his moments during the contest, but Golovkin was simply too much for him to handle. With barely a minute left in round four, Golovkin connected with the most unusual left hook that dropped his opponent. Sonny Liston is perhaps the most avoided man in boxing's history. However, Muhammad Ali is not a man known to back away from a challenge. In their second meeting in 1965, Muhammad Ali unleashed the infamous phantom punch that put the most feared boxer down in only one round. Cannot move. 22 year old boxing star Ryan Garcia gave British Olympic medalist Luke Campbell a tough time during their meeting in 2021, but the more experienced Campbell dropped an overzealous Garcia in round two. Seems like he wants to. To his credit, Garcia recovered quickly from the first knockdown in his professional career. By Luke Campbell. Right on the money, right on the button. At first glance. This is a classic matchup between Wilfred Benitez and Maurice Hope for the WBC Super Welterweight title in 1981. Benitez, who had made history five years earlier by becoming the youngest boxing champion at the age of 17, gave us another timeless knockout that is still regarded as one of the best today. Super well away in this case. There's a right hand and down goes Hope. And I don't think he's going to get up from this one. A tremendous right hand from Wilfred Benitez and that is going to be it. A smiling new champion Wilfred Benitez. Japanese star Naoya Inoue lived up to his nickname, The Monster, in his fight against the durable Dominican fighter Juan Carlos Payano. The Monster needed barely one minute to put out his opponent, handing him the first knockout loss of his career. when the fight was still in his name. In a bout billed as unfinished business, Roy Jones Jr. faced Montel Griffin in an immediate rematch for the WBC light heavyweight title. Jones convincingly stopped his opponent this time around in the opening round with a monstrous left hand. survive it. He's got trouble. Nine. And that's that. Jones gets his vindication via a first round knockout. And it was a left uppercut. Unbelievably quick left hand shots. A barrage of them in round one by Jones. And he finishes off Griffin with a half hook, half uppercut, a la Oscar.
Oscar De La Hoya that landed on the butt. You know the good thing about Roy Jones, you talk about the lack of a left jab. He see his targets, he doesn't need a jab. He's quick enough to go there without even faking the jab. I never thought I would ever hear you say of a fighter that he doesn't need. Latvian puncher Maris Bredis moved up to the heavyweight division to face former world title challenger Manuel Char. But despite the apparent size difference between the two fighters, the smaller Bredis was able to put his bigger opponent to sleep with only five seconds left in round five. <laughs> Twenty-year-old Tyson squared off against WBC heavyweight champion Trevor Burbick in his first world title fight. In round two. Tyson landed the history-making shot that saw him become the youngest ever world heavyweight champion. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more interesting content like this.